Okay, this next plant is becoming more and more of a problem. Uh, it's not native here in North America. This is Conium maculatum, Conium maculatum, also known as poison hemlock. Poison hemlock. So this has uh, this this plant is legendary for its toxicity of the city of the city. Oh, actually, of Socrates. So it's thought that traditionally this was the plant that uh, killed Socrates. Um, there's a lot of questionable. There's a lot of good papers that say maybe, and a lot of papers that say no way. Anyway, so uh, legend has it that. Long story short, the question is is that this toxicity is awful. You feel terrible about it. It slowly kills you. Um, uh, and uh, Socrates had this really nice death, you know, and so maybe there was some of the, this poison hemlock in it. Maybe it was a concoction. That's my idea, probably. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't even know if Socrates was a real person or if Plato made him up. Either way, uh, this is the legendary plant that that is thought to have done it. So first off, this is in the APACE. This is in the APAC or the carrot family. Um, and conium is the old Greek name for this plant. Uh, maculatum because of the spots. Because as you can see here, the stem, so we go up, it's very glaucous, so it's got this waxy, it's got this waxy coating, and then it's spotted. Maculatum just means spotted. And we're gonna see a sister species that um, that also has the specific epithet of maculatum as well. But uh so I guess well on the stems. Let's talk about the stems. They're hairless. They're glaucous again. That glaucousness. I love that word. Um, they're be It's a beautiful plant. It's got beautiful stems. It's a biennial. So the first year it just has a basal rosettes. The second year it bolts into something that can be you know seven plus feet tall. Um, you can see the the leaves are alternately arranged because they are in the uh, APAC. You get this cool sheathing when the see the stem. Ha, huh, I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, back on the sheathing. Sorry for showing my face. Uh, the stem, the stem is, uh, the leaf comes out of the stem and with this sheath-like structure. Part of this plant is toxic from the roots all the way up to the flowers. Um, we'll take a look at the flowers here in a second. This is just all one leaf broken up into compound, so a leaf into a leaflet, into leaflets, into leaflets. So you can see it's, it's three to four times compound. Um, very lacy, very ferny looking. Uh, very lacy and ferny, hairless. The leaves are hairless as well. You really see the spots well on that stem. I really like touching this plant as much as I don't like touching a lot of plants in the APAC. Each one of these flowers is actually, each all of the flowers, let's go up here and just show you. Uh, they're in umbels, uh, they're in compound umbels. So the umbel is a inflorescence type where each flower stalk has a central axis. Think of an umbrella. And then uh, each umbel is in an umbelette. Is in an umbelette. See, uh, back up here, see that? Okay. Each flower is five-parted. It's in the APAC. So you have these, these five petals. You have this, this nectar landing pad in the middle and then stamens, five stamens that, uh, that um, white stamens that are kind of equal to or sometimes surpassing those white petals. See there? All right, so different ways that you know you have poison hemlock and not something else. Uh, so again, you have these, these super compound leaf, these leaves. Um, you have, look at that, fern-like wispy leaves. You have, uh, they actually even stink if you rub your hands on it. I don't recommend it because this is legendary for killing people um, or making them sick by giving you heart failure, or respiratory, I forget what it is, something like that. I'll look it up and maybe post it, maybe not. Um, but then these, it's gonna be tall. It's gonna be tall, kind of upright. A lot, many flowered, lots of umbels, and that really that spotted glaucous stem. We might look at another plant, Angelica, which looks very different, but can be confused because that also has a glaucous purplish stem. Conium maculatum, poison hemlock. Conium maculatum. Oh, it reproduces by reseeding itself like crazy. As we can see, one of the issues with mowing uh, a biennial, especially after it's in seed, is you just really spread that seed everywhere. So this is Alconium maculatum. Alconium maculatum, look at that. Look at all of that. 